What up, viewers? What up? What up? As many of you may have heard or saw, the Google Stadia Founders Edition is out. And so I am going to be, I have received mine in the mail. So well, that's going to be hard to see with my current lighting situation, but uh, I've got mine uh, that got sent to me. So I'm going to be unboxing it for you here and now. So let's go ahead and get the, get the first thing opened up. Um, my first surprise is that it is it is a lot smaller than than I thought. I thought it would be maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe I underestimated how big a Google Home would be. Um, but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Let's find a good place for it. Yep. All right. Yes, I ordered the. Uh, oh God, what is the the exclusive? Midnight blue, I think, was the name of the color. So that's what controller should be inside here. And here we go. Voila! Ooh, that's a good way to start things off by showing off the midnight blue edition. Um, the midnight blue. Founders Edition controller, Google Stadia controller. It feels good. Um, the the plunger is kind of unique. I feel like on a on like a PlayStation controller, I guess. Uh, I guess it, it's kind of the same on a PlayStation controller. The like trigger would pull away from the rest of the controller for it, but the fact that there's like space here. I can imagine people getting their fingers maybe stuck there. Um, looks good, feels good. Uh, it's got the same button configuration as an Xbox One controller. So you've got your ABXY, uh, ABXY, but the but where the buttons are on the controller is more like a DualShock controller. So yeah, uh, and I don't have my Nintendo Switch controller handy that's the one controller i don't have within arm's reach of here um but it kind of looks and feels like one um like a nintendo switch pro controller so that is kind of how it looks and feels it's got little micro grooves on this so that you know it's got a little bit more tactile feel than a than your regular old everyday controller i think the original uh dual shocks from ps4 were were smooth and i would typically go in for those like squid grips or something like that but if it's got these micro grooves i, I feel like i can keep a pretty good hand hand on those um yeah buttons feel responsive d-pads all of one one stick i feel like i i prefer nintendo's buttons although then you can't do an upright I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I prefer buttons, but I'm not like a hardcore like fighting game where I need to be able to press like up and right at the same time. Um, for shooters, I just need to be able to switch between, you know, grenade types or something like that, which is usually left to the D-pad. But yeah, yeah, the controllers, controllers looking good. It feels good, but we'll see how it plays. Under the controller is a little slip let's go ahead and put this in basically in reverse order we have ourselves a USB-C <clears throat> and a power outlet uh oh got weird cardboard things that prevent me from pulling it the wrong way so we got our little USB to AM to, um, to DC Hmm. I wonder how the white cording is going to clash with the uh, black um, actual hardware, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess this would plug in. I don't actually have any Google Home devices. I have a bunch of uh, Alexa around my house, so, you know. I've never seen, I've never actually seen a Google Home. Um, I think I haven't seen a Google Home, but 
this is the is this the basis of it is this everything everything i need right here this is the the yeah this is the hdmi it's got a little uh ah that feels good taking this little okay so why don't i actually do this one at a time so yep got your white usb to USB C. You have your AC to USB adapter. Uh, I have this, I believe this is the Google Home. Google Home, and I've already peeled off the little layer. So I got that, and that has my HDMI, and I assume the power cord is, this looks like a micro USB. So maybe I'm confused at, as to, is that the, was that first the control? Oh, so this was for controlling, um, this was for powering the controller which again it's gonna look and feel weird with like a white cord sticking out of a midnight blue controller and then we have our google home and our google home power adapter google home power adapter so USB-C plugs into the Google Home. This plugs into my HDMI port, and then that can get up and running. It looks like there might be a little bit more stuff left over somewhere in here. So that was all in a small, well-to-do box. Hmm. Okay. Does it? Is there really not anything left? Nothing left. Feels like there's a secret in it. If this was a collector's edition or something, I would like have a video game. I would I would like open this up and there's probably like a small chit in there or something, like a coin, you know, that's secretly at the bottom. But yeah, if that's it, then then oh, I forgot my user manual and paperwork all in there. Uh. The promise of creating one place for all ways to play is long held is a long held dream. Today we're proud to see the dream becoming a reality. The community of players is the core of Stadia. Thank you for belonging to the for being the first to gather around the Stadia team. Cool. So I got a congratulatory le record letter. I've got setup, which I'm gonna go through right now. I got a few Stadia stickers that I can slap all over things, which is great. Warranty stuff. Yep, paperwork, paperwork. So, that's everything. Um, yeah, I thought the box would be slightly bigger. Maybe I thought, I think this what I thought was going to be more egg-shaped, and so that might have required a slightly bigger box. But, yeah, everything seems to be here, so... Next thing I got to do is start plugging it all in, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, but yeah, so I got myself my Midnight Blue controller, my charging cord for it, my USB-C, or my, uh, sorry, my USB-C charging cord, as well as a power adapter for that. I've got my power adapter for my Google Home, and a few stickers, and that's it. So, um... Yeah, I definitely thought this would be slightly bigger, but you know, I, I most of, most of what they're selling is is digital cloud based gaming. So I, you know, I also got Destiny Two Complete Edition for free, or or at least not for free, included in my my hundred and thirty dollar purchase. Um, so I've heard a couple, I've heard and seen a couple things about the controller. Some people you know say good things. Some people say they're bad things. Um, Oh, I also thought that it would have a phone adapter. Did I have to buy that separately, I guess? Um, some people, you can play, you can hook a wire frame up to this and then play on your phone. That's part of the cloud-based gaming that they are promising. I thought that would be in here somewhere. Maybe it is, and I have to dig through it somewhere else. But, yeah, that's everything. Um, I don't know, you know, I'll have to play with... With my controller for you know i've already talked about it for about two three minutes in this video this is a very short video but i'll have to play with it to see how i feel i'm pretty um controller agnostic i kind of i've mostly i grew up playing with xboxes so the like slightly bigger controller kind of just feels better in my hand even though i have 
small hands. Um, and so I don't mind playing with like Joy-Cons or the Nintendo Pro Controller. I'm pretty controller agnostic. I actually don't like the GameCube controller. Uh, just a little bit about me. But yeah, I'll have to see how this compares to just playing with a DualShock controller or an Xbox One controller. But it, it looks, feels, you know, smells just fine. And uh, yeah, I'll have to see. I'm going to start plugging this in right now, but I'm not going to do that live on camera. So this has been my unboxing of the of the Nintendo's, uh, or not Nintendo, the Google Stadia Founders Edition. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you do, feel free to like, follow, and subscribe to me on all of my social medias, my Twitch, and my YouTube. Links down in the description below. And as always, hope you have a super day. Hope you have a super week. And I hope you have a super day. Bye.